Flame Party Gamers. Today we are going to be cleaning up this backyard as it is a bit of a jungle. Now I've already sprayed all the weeds because, well, coming up is quite possibly the last spring lanathon we're doing here at the house. And to make it extra special, we're gonna do a lot of activities out here in the backyard. And that includes putting this sheet up on the hill so we can have poolside uh, gaming on a projector. So what we have to figure out today is how we can mount this sheet up on stands in order to have the projector hit it, as well as how we can get a projector mounted on the fence itself. So we're gonna be doing some drilling, finding the uh, correct size poles and things like that, and uh, probably digging them into the dirt so it doesn't act like a giant sail, and seeing just how well it works once the sun goes down. So stay tuned as we have a bit of a work party today. Okay, so uh, we got this bed sheet at Target, and it's a California King, I think, or just a King. I don't know what the difference is. And we're going to see this pole here, and hopefully this is like similar length to the pole. And then I've got to sew it to make it work, or maybe put some bronze in it. This might actually be, if I not stop stepping on it. Pretty close. I think the other way. This is the top and bottom. That looks like it's... it's I feel like the long end is coming towards me. You see? It's like a giant square. It can't be a giant. Well, California King actually is kind of a giant square bed. <laughs> there you go. So that that's a nice white sheet for projecting. So I'm just gonna like sew it, I guess, like that. We'll see. Okay, so I just looked out. There's a knit about the height of the sewing that I was gonna do right here. And if I just slit right here, I should be able to just poke the, the pole through without having to go through the trouble of sewing this. So that just saved me like an hour work, you know, cause I haven't, I got a new sewing machine. I really haven't figured out how to use it entirely. So this was gonna be the day. Ha, not today. All right, well, we just got back from Shein's Shazam and uh, Oh god, there he is! Oh, okay. And time to get back to work. <laughs> That's not gonna work. See? Easy, huh? That wasn't too bad. Yeah. We're putting grommets in our projector screen right now so that uh, at the bottom we have something sturdy to pull it through, uh, to hold it to the poles. So I've already put a hole in there, put the bottom of the grommet, and it's been a while since I've done this. So I think I put this piece here, put this flat guy here. I feel like I'm missing a piece. And this is the piece I was missing. This goes on top and then presses them together and it it's supposed to mold the pieces together but I think I had something upside down so we'll take try this one again <laughs> so I think this piece that I found later goes in the bottom then the grommet. Let's see. Oops. Then the fabric. Then this piece. And then this piece, which I thought was the bottom, goes through the middle. And that's what I whacked the hell out of. And there we have a grommet. Well, now we're fitting the sheet over the rod and uh, 
trying not to let it rip on these places that we already drilled. Listen, the first time Mitchell's helped me roll up a giant piece of fabric. So we installed those, remember? Oh, like yeah. your first year. All right, that's sure. it. So now we're hoping that we got all our measurements right because we are unfurling. There we go. A lot easier when you're not trying to do two at a time. All the way down, nice and tight. That's pretty good. I think it's ready for the projector. Awful one. Not not awful, but... Do y'all know who Rappaport is? And now it, it'll warm up. Okay. Hey! Perfect timing. Perfect timing. <laughs> not bad. So we got a little bit of fig stuff to figure out. And we're not sold on if we want to use the projector sound or if we want to do something like a Bluetooth audio solution. But, I mean, I'm impressed by the little speaker in this projector. So, we'll, uh, <laughs> we could do hand puppets up there too if we want. So we've got a, the modded Wii with some wireless controllers. We've got to try to figure out if we can get the original Wiimotes to pair. But for now, I got the Wavebird. People can sit up here with wired GameCube controllers. And uh, we can also plug in, like, a laptop with an HDMI cable to this too if we want to do stuff like Jackbox. With our phones out here in the pool, we could play some Jackbox party games. So I guess next up we'll build a platform for the projector to sit on and figure out a nice weather-resistant solution for the equipment that's feeding it. All right, here we go. It's Mario Kart 64 time, baby. It's the joystick and the A button. Playing with the paired Wiimotes and a game, uh, Wavebird. Hell yeah. All right, well this is the last piece of the puzzle. This is gonna be the uh, stand in which we put the projector on. And my friend Keegan had a great idea and make the back stilts actually pegs that go into the ground. So the deeper we put it into the ground, the different levels we can have it at so we can make sure that it's perfectly centered on the screen. Um, and we can put that here, put the projector here, and uh, that's pretty much it for this. So if you don't come out to Lanathon next weekend, you're going to miss some pretty exciting poolside gaming. Not only are we going to have the Wii set up with things like Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, Mario Party, but we're also going to have a laptop set up with HDMI in order to do things like Jackbox uh, from the pool and other couch co-op games. So it's going to be pretty cool. Stay tuned for the video after Lanathon showing all the fun we had. But I hope we see you guys there in person for possibly the last spring landathon here at SDLHQ. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you haven't yet, we just hit our 1,000th subscriber, and we hope you were one of them. But if you weren't, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Maybe this year we can hit that 2,000 subscriber mark and get up there with the big boys and the other tech YouTube channels. That would be awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching, and have a great day.